One thing I never get tired of having to reiterate is the fact that I'm not attempting to convince anyone that they should never have children. You know, I recognize the futility in me attempting to, to do that, believing that I have that sort of potential for influence on the behaviors of people that I don't know, me being some random guy on the internet, and, and the other reason being that life is a very, very complicated sort of thing. It's a very intricate, like I said, an intricate web of interactive, conscious experiences. And there are innumerable ways in which one can make this place far worse with relatively good intentions. So I don't want to be responsible for actually convincing someone that they should never have children. I don't... What I am attempting to do is convey the seriousness of the decision. The, the fact that you are essentially imposing the significant, the very real potential for hell onto your prospective child. That, that is what you are, do, you are doing when you are having a biological child. And yeah, I'm not saying you shouldn't do that, um, but I am saying that you should treat that with far more respect than the average person does. You know, giving the decision little to no thought. Again, it's, it's oftentimes not even a deliberate decision. I mean, if you, if you are someone that has even asked the question of, should I do this? You are likely in the top 50% at least, right? I mean, just asking the question of, should I, should I impose this? Because many people don't ask that question. It's just a matter of, I wanted to fuck. <laughs> so that, that was just the consequence of, of me fucking. Um, yeah, just the fact that people treat it as though it's this, this joke. People treat the creation of new human life as though it's this fucking joke. They don't think about potential for consequences. So that's what I'm attempting to convey. The potential for consequences. I, mean, I know so many people that are like that, that are just, you know, oh yeah, I have a, I have a couple of baby mamas, <laughs> you know, like, I, I see them every now and again, yeah. Just, they, they speak so casually about this very serious thing. And again, it makes me sick. And, you know, I, I don't really confront them about it because what would that do, right? What good would that do? But part of me wants to shake them and tell them, what the fuck are you doing? You have brought people into existence. No big deal. Yeah, whatever. What's the difference, right? A few more thrown into the, the cesspool. Fuck it. So that's what I'm attempting to convey with these videos. I'm not attempting to convince anyone that they should never have children, again, for multiple reasons. Um, I just want people to give it more thought, give it more preparation, take greater care when indulging in sex and just having more respect for the potential for consequences. That's what I'm attempting to convey. And again, with that previous video, just highlighting the fact that your pleasure will not rectify, it will not justify your suffering that you will have to experience here. There's a very, very good chance, I would argue it's a guarantee, that your pleasure here will not justify your suffering. And most philosophers would agree with that. Most reasonable human beings, I would argue, would agree with that. That if your suffering is to be justified here, it is not to be found in pleasure. It's a very, I mean, again, it's a, it's a very simple recognition. If your suffering here is to be justified, you are going to have to find something worth suffering for. And it's not going to be found in pleasure. That was what I was attempting to, to, to convey in that messy, improvised little video. Um... Yeah, you are imposing the great potential, the very real risk of hell. And you should give that far more respect than, again, many, many people do. That is what I'm saying. So just, you know, continue to give it thought. Continue to, to give it lots of contemplation. And um, take great care with who you decide to have children with. 
and that's it. <laughs> that's, that is it. 